Hey guys, welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central. This is BYD, Big Yard Dog. Hey guys, today, I'm, listen, this video is pretty much just showing you the results of me taking care of a yard for a while and um, it's looking good, guys, it's looking good. Um, it has a few weeds here and there. You've seen this yard in one of my previous videos. And um, this yard is on the Prodiamine Diet, the uh, WDG65, so check it out. You are watching Bermuda Grad Central, changing the world one yard at a time. Okay guys, what I'm, what I'm about to show you is the results of me taking care of this yard. And like I said, guys, these treatments that I'm telling you about, they work. And I always like to show proof of my work, all right? So, I'm gonna flip this camera around and you guys are going to be amazed. Okay, you are finesse. Look, they go Master P down now. So I zoom in on him down there. Just got through stick edging and he's about to go ahead and um, probably get on these little hedges right here. All right. all right, guys, now, like I said, I'm gonna show you the lawn. And you you see how, how, how it looks, all right? You know, you got some of that wash that when you get that rain that comes down and it washes that um, debris down here, all right? So it's gonna get a little noisy because we gotta keep working while we're making this video. But what I wanna show you is the lawn on the other side. And like I said, guys, this yard used to be that yard, all right? And I, as hard as that is to believe, that's what it used to be. And that yard is full of everything, all right? My yard, well-maintained, predominantly diet. Um, we came out here, um, and actually we hadn't put any fertilizer down, it's starting to green up. Um, you got a couple of grassy weeds in here. You know, like, the, I guess, I don't know if you can see that, but that one right there. And um, I'll point to it, if I can. It's over here somewhere, guys, but we got a grassy weed right in there. And like I said, well maintained. We sprayed this last week actually with some um, some spectricide uh, weed stock for lawn. Um, that 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 thirty thirty nine dollar. Well, I, don't, I forgot the, the cost of it. It's like thirty something dollars. But that particular was coming. As a matter of fact, this yard is going to be on that program. I'm gonna use that those bottles to treat this yard for the whole season, and you guys are going to see what it looks like when we get through it, all right? Okay, y'all fanatics, hopefully you can hear me, but um, we treated it with this one last week. All right, well, no, excuse me, two weeks ago, we treated it with that, all right? We're not gonna treat it again today, but the next time we come back, we're gonna treat this with the, not the lawn fertilizer, but let me see if I can find it. We're gonna treat it with this weed and feed two weeks from now, all right? And then we'll probably hit it again four weeks again with this weed and feed because I think this bottle covers 7,500 square feet. This yard that I'm doing is roughly almost 4,000 square feet, all right? So we're gonna hit it twice with that. That's 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 gonna be a decision maker. because we can also go back with this right here. This is gonna be a one-shot deal when we hit it. So we'll probably hit it with that weaving feed, and the next time we'll hit it with this right here. All right, and in the middle of the season, we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the tri Trizide Insect Killer. Kills up for three months. As a matter of fact, guys, I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna treat the, the lawn today with this, and I'll show you that. I'm gonna show you guys one thing, okay? If you are lining up your yard, and what I mean by lining up your yard, guys, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about putting that line down for there, all right? Down there and around that way, all right? What we have here is called a stick edge, all 
right? And I zoom in so you can see it. That's the stick edger. A lot of you guys are using a weed eater to do this, and that's not the proper way to go do ahead it. and show them how to use that stick edge. The reason BYD is showing you that, Some guys, you guys are using the stick edger to line the, not the stick edger, you're using a weed eater to line up the yard, and that line is not going to be straight, regardless of how much of a pro you think you are. Give your customer what they deserve. Use the stick edger to get a better line. When you use it, that weed eater, especially without the guard on it, you're kicking debris everywhere. The line is not even, and even the curb crack or the, the, the line that you're trying to get is not perfectly straight. You're pulling dirt out of the line and you're gonna get a separation gap in between that. So that's one thing I want to show you guys, all right? Here's the other thing, okay? Master P is gonna use the weed eater the right way. We have lawn mowing. Like I said, guys, these are just quick videos, kind of give you an idea what BYD is doing out here. But that lawn mower is set at its lowest height to cut this Bermuda lawn. And I'll show you the lawn again. All right, Master P is going to record me cutting it. Now, a lot of times when you're cutting your lawn with this lawn mower, we're going to go straight up, turn around, we're going to come back. All right, I see a lot of guys making deep curve turns with these lawn mowers. And if you're cutting with a heavy lawnmower, you're going to have issues with the lines being straight. So nothing spectacular here, but go ahead and watch this little quick video.
check this out. You see those, them, I'll call them wash lines. W-A-S-H lines. That's when the water is coming this way from rain. And by me mulching, all those little bits get clogged up in certain spots. All right. So what we do, <clears throat> this right here, what we do is take the blower and we blow those loose. All right, Master P is gonna go ahead and demonstrate this with this uh, BR-600 steel backpack. Blower. You, you saw how we we break those up all right and these tips can be used for the homeowner they can also be used for the landscaper now if you don't have a high power backpack blower like that you can always use a handheld to get those a lot of people will take a rake and rake it up and that's also fine but the reason i don't like to do that is because you're pulling up roots and you're just making it a little bit more difficult when you get ready to cut the grass because you're going to have to cut back over that now the way that I did it, I don't necessarily have to go back and cut over it, but you want to get that out of the grass um, before you I put down your fertilizer. I'll put it to you like that, okay? So he's going to go ahead and finish that up, and um, I'm going to show you something else that I do when I'm taking care of my lawn and a customer's lawn. Okay, y'all, for that, look, one of the things I want to show you is that, like I said, after we get through doing all that and we treat for weeds, all right, now, this like I said, keep bear in mind, we're still working. So you're gonna hear a lot of weed eating, but for the homeowner, I did a video on this right here. All right, that should be a link. Um, there should be a link up in the corner telling you about it. That product is still fine, all right? Now I made my own, I actually used six ounces of this. One gallon of water and my Scott spreader, excuse me, Scott sprayer. And it has the same tip on it as on that Roundup, but it's green. All right, and I added a surfactant to it also. Now, the label is light on there, but this is a surfactant. Since I made my own, you know, I can, I can kind of add surfactants and, and adjust the uh, amount of kill. Now, you notice that steel SG20 backpack sprayer for your professionals. You probably got one of those, and you can also do it that way. But I'm just showing you the three options that I got here that after we service a yard and let me show you like i said after we service service a yard you got certain spots on here that you may have some weeds and generally you'll see them around the corner of the house all right so we got certain spots that we got to go around and we'll just spot spot spray those weeds if we see any in the lawn we'll spot spray those also and this is how you maintain your lawn throughout the season. Like I said, guys, that 10 minutes once a week, you know, for us is it's twice a month because we service these yards every two weeks. But around the gate, you generally have some weeds right there. So we'll treat those also. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna let Master P record me treating. Okay, guys, now you see this spray tip right here, all right? And you see that yard is full of weeds. One of the things I do when I'm treating yards that got a lot of weeds in it like that is I, I, I put a, a crush line on, all right? You already guys know what crush line neighbor is. One way to enhance this formula right here is to add prodiamine to it, but I didn't do it today. But if you add some prodiamine to it along with the weed kill for lawn and the surfactant 
we're gonna walk that property line. And what that does is keep those weed seeds from flying over here. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but all of those dandelion seeds are just landing all in this yard over here. But I got this yard so heavily protected that it's hard for it to penetrate. So what I do is, uh, you probably come on this side so you can get a better view of it. And basically, just walk that line. That property line, and this is called sidewalking. You guys know anything about that? What I mean by that is, I'm not standing and literally stepping on the stuff that I'm spraying. So you have to sidewalk, which means you have to keep it up to the side, spray, and watch your line. And what this does is keep those weeds from creeping onto my customer's lawn, so I keep them as weed free as possible. Remember, this is six ounces of uh, spectricide weed stop for lawn, along with a surfactant, one ounce, and one gallon of water. And if you're gonna add prodiamine, you can do 0.10 ounce up to 0.25 ounce. Guys, if you don't know what they are, spray them anyway. I don't care. Spray them. Can't hurt. All right, then around the border of the house, you'll normally see weeds around there. So I'll walk that line. All right, and like I said, guys, you can put it, put it on my face now. What that does, guys, is it makes it easy for the landscape makes it easier when you come back you're not fighting weeds the less weeds you have and the more grass you have the faster you can service that yard for the homeowner it's the same thing you, it takes less time to cut your yard when you're only cutting grass and not weeds all right so it's a few more spots I'm gonna go ahead and spray um, let me show you another spot like see that right there I don't necessarily know what it is Spray it in a way, or you could pull it up, but just spray it and see what happens. All right, so let's walk around here. You see, we got still got some in here. Just spray them, like I said, guys. Now I know I just said you could pull that weed up, but generally, don't pull them up. Watch it die. Leave it there and just watch it die. Now, for your AC units, you see that grass back there? Professional landscapers don't weedy behind AC units. You rip that grass out and you spray it with glyphosate to kill everything off on the backside of it. Because if you weedy and you cut one of these wires, you're going to have an issue. So anyway, I see them, these weeds, I just kind of touch them up. Hmm. You see it all, all up against the house? Let's get that. And get, a, get this gate right here. And you can see we got them all on the gate. Like I said, guys, this is the 10 minutes once a week for the homeowner, for the landscaper. Not every time you come out, but whenever you come out, I would advise to go ahead and create your perimeter so you don't have to keep weed eating weeds. And like I said, if you don't have these weeds here, you don't tear that gate up weeding. This is the other person, the top of the hill. Like I said, this is just called perimeter control. Try and keep those weeds on their side, and not my customer's side. Okay, guys, and like I said, right here, crushed our neighbor's side. We are creating a weed free perimeter. Keep those weeds on their side. And I think we did. 
down the house. So I just hit right here just to make sure. Alright, going down the property line, creating that weed free from residence. Hey guys, that's how you, you know, keep the weeds under control. This is the spectricide triocide. It's an insect killer for lawns, lands, and landscapes. Lasts up to three months, kills 260 plus insects all right and that's pretty much going to be ants um army worms um grubs um side worms um and what's the other one chick chick bugs all right so and, and i think this kills crane flies also all right so the way you apply this guys first of all go ahead and shake it up most people get it and just start spraying but shake it up that, that's how you activate the chemicals on the inside when you agitate it all right, the next step, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna screw this on to a water hose. So let's go ahead and do that next. Okay, guys, this one bottle covers about 5,100 square feet. And this one, uh, I said 4,000, but it's actually closer to 5,000. So we're gonna use this whole bottle on here. And like I said, before you put this on here, make sure that rubber gasket is in there. All right, and you don't wanna not have it in there and then you turn it on and it's everywhere. And guys, it's simple. You just literally screw it onto the hose you know make sure it's tight but not too tight now this is how you activate it you see that little yellow tab right there just pull it out that's it nothing else it literally just pulled out now if you get this at the store and you don't see this yellow tab in there on this new model go to the next one all right so we're going to dispose of that we're going to cut the water on Like I said, you shook the bottle up. All right. And it works better when you have two people, somebody pulling the hose. But if you don't put it on your shoulder, and you see this trigger right here, that white thing, that's how you cut it on. That's how you cut it off. If you look at the back of it, it has a meter here. So as you are spraying this, you'll start to see it go down. Guys, there is no speed to walk. You're gonna have to eyeball this and gauge the way that you spray it. Now, some people get this and they say it comes out super fast, but a lot of times that's because you're, you have so much pressure coming through your hose, it's running out of there real fast. So if your pressure is set right on your at your house, it should come out at a decent speed, but not too fast. Now, if you spray this for 10 to 15 minutes and ain't nothing coming out, it's clogged up on the inside. But most of the time, it won't be. If it is clogged up on the inside, unscrew this, take a water hose, skeet the straw out, stick the straw back in there, insert it, screw it back on, and try again. But let's go ahead and start spraying this. Remember, this covers 5,100 square feet. We got about 5,000 square feet. I'm gonna use this whole bottle. start smelling that insect smell so make sure you spray it downwind when you spray it you know try not to do this when it's windy period and when you hear that guys that's that chemical trying to come out of there try not to spray this you know into the wind make sure you have gloves on a mask if possible i don't have one on now because it get muffled when i'm talking like I said, I'm spraying, and I'm kind of keeping an eye on that meter that's right there. I'm keeping an eye on that. All right, so I got this side done. Let's go to the other side. Guys, we get the question, can you put this down the same time you do a weed and feed, liquid weed and feed, or a liquid, uh, what's up, weed stuff for lawn? The answer is yes, but I would do it separate. If you're gonna do it, do this first. Do the weed stop for lawn um, last because it has a surfactant in it. You want that stuff to kind of stick to those weeds. But I'll do this early in the morning. And come back later on and do the weed stop for lawn or your liquid weed and feed or your liquid fertilization. 
said, guys, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on this bottle. This product's supposed to last up to three months. Oh. You're doing this before Easter. Make sure you try to get it watered in a couple days before. So you know, get it into the soil. Now as a landscaper, landscapers when they come and do stuff like this, they're not gonna hang around, they're not gonna water it in. <laughs> so it's gonna be up to you to get it watered in. Normally if I if I do put something like this down. I'll let my customer know to uh, water it in. Read the direction, guys. That's what I'm, I'm need to express that. Read the directions. Now, don't listen to everything you hear on the internet. Because all of it ain't true. Some people just copy in other people's videos. But they don't really know all the facts about the product. So BYD suggests that you read those directions on the bottle to make sure that you are applying it the correct way and i'm gonna stop right here and as you can see you see that the little meter see it's going down so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and we'll talk at the end of okay you're a so byd has just showed you how to maintain your lawn and also how to put down the liquid triacide insect control by spectricide all right it's not that easy, let's recap. We just basically showed you how to stick edge, um, showed you what the real use of a weed eater is for, and it's not to line your yard up, but people will do it. Um, showed you a couple of techniques of me cutting grass. Um, that, just make sure you cut straight line, guys. And um, we came back and we did some spot treatment for weeds, and we put down the triacide insect control that should last us about three months all right so guys just remember one thing you're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD this is Michael Bowman and I'll talk to you soon